guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Melinda so in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my favorite tools and products for when I heat style my hair so if you're new here I normally make wavy hair content I do have naturally wavy hair I have like 2b to a very coarse and thick wavy hair but every once in a while I do like to heat style it so I just want to share a few of the products and tools that are just like my favorites my go-to's that that I really like so if you're interested in that then just keep watching okay so I think I'm gonna start with the tools that I use and then I'm gonna move into products so first of all I'm gonna start with what I do to straighten my hair since that is how I have my hair styled right now I will normally just let my hair air dry until it's about 80 to 90 percent dry just to reduce as much heat damage as possible and then once it's mostly dry I will blow dry it the rest of the way so for that I use this X Tava blow dryer and I also have their diffuser attachment for when I am wearing my hair natural. I really, really like both of these. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it. I don't know if these are still being sold though. I feel like I tried to link these in a previous video and I couldn't find them anywhere. So if you guys know if this set is still available, please let me know because I love this diffuser attachment especially because it has such a big and deep bowl. So this is really good for like pretty much all hair lengths. I got this when my hair was like shoulder length and I still use it now and it's let my hair is like down to the bottom of my ribs, wherever those are because I'm seven months pregnant and I can't find them. Okay, next up for my straightener, I have this one by Luma Bella. By the way, I am gonna try to link everything down below unless it's sold out then I'll just let you know or you just like won't see a link there but um yeah this one's by Luma Bella I don't know if it's like a specific model or anything that's all this one says I feel like I got it off Amazon though so it should be pretty easy for me to find and link for you guys but this is just a really good flat iron I feel like it gets hot enough but it doesn't like fry my hair it grips my hair really nicely like I hate when a straightener either pulls my hair too much or when my hair just kind of like falls through it and I feel like I can't get enough pressure on it to actually like clamp it down and really smooth my hair out. But this one does a really good job. And I've had it for like, I don't know, I wanna say like five years or something and it's still going strong. So now when I wanna curl my hair, I do um, like one of two things. The first tool that I've been really loving is this Revlon dryer brush. So I actually did like a full review and demo of this brush. I'll have that video linked if you are interested, but um, yeah, I tried this out this year and I really love it now I would recommend using this on just like slightly damp hair and just kind of use it sparingly I don't use this a ton just because I do feel like it creates a little bit more damage than some of my other heat tools So just keep that in mind But this does a really good job at smoothing my hair out and giving me like that really nice blowout But also what I like doing with this is getting like really nice big waves I'll put in a picture of my hair when I use this to style it and it's one of my favorite ways to style my hair if I want to wear it curly I mean like heat styled curly you know what I'm saying I don't know whatever okay by the way I don't heat style my hair a lot just because I don't like to damage it and everyone's always asking me like how I get my hair to grow so fast honestly it's actually by not heat styling it so much which I know that's what this whole video is about but I really only heat style my hair like maybe four times a year I try to hold off for special occasions but here recently I've had a lot of special occasions with my sister getting married with my baby showers and bridal showers bachelorette parties all kinds of stuff so i have been heat styling a little bit more but um my hair grows faster when i keep that to a minimum so the next tool that i love is this curling iron and this is by ceramic tools and this is the one and one fourth inch curling iron so my aunt is a hairdresser she actually gave this to me several years ago and she said that this was like one of her favorites i think it's like less than 40 dollars on amazon and this is just the perfect size she told me that this was like a good size for the length of my hair at the time which i think was like more shoulder length but it's actually even as it's grown out this has been the perfect size for my hair so what i didn't realize is that sometimes if your curls are falling out throughout the day and they're not holding you may have the wrong size barrel and for me i've noticed that this one and one fourth inch works for my hair like no matter how long or how short my hair is so i really recommend this size if you have issues with your curls just falling out like immediately after you curl it or just throughout the day and you can't wear your hair for multiple days in that heat style i would try a different size barrel um but yeah i've had 
have this one for like four years or something. It just died on me and I need to buy a new one actually. I'm trying out another brand that was like half the price but I don't love it as much as this one so far so I'll keep you guys posted but this one like I said lasted me like four years I think is when she gave it to me like four years ago and she had it even longer before then so I feel like these really really last a long time okay so now let's go ahead and get into products by the way I know I have like a little crease in my hair that's just because I straightened my hair yesterday and I actually have not gone back over it because I don't like to put that much heat on my hair so um, my hair kind of gets a few dents and creases as I sleep on it, but I don't really mind that much. So, as far as products go, I like to start my heat styling prep in the shower. I don't really like to just like wash my hair like normal, not really think about it, and then just heat style my hair. I like to really plan it out and make sure the products I'm using are intentional. So, that to me is just like really really hydrating products just because heat does tend to dry your hair out my favorite shampoo and conditioner right now that are both hydrating is the x mondo little set this is the hydro glow hydrating shampoo and the hydro glow hydrating conditioner these are so good they really make my hair feel so soft and as you can see i'm like really going through them i really like to consider the scent of the products that i use because when i heat style my hair i'm gonna leave it like that for about a week so I really want to make sure that it's a scent that I like in my shampoo and conditioner and I'm obsessed with the scents of the X Mondo products they're so good but um, especially in pregnancy I am so sensitive to scent right now so I really try to like be very picky about what I put on my hair because I'm gonna be smelling that for several days and it'll start to make me nauseous the next thing I really love is this deep conditioner by lust it's the love your curls deep condition and repair so this makes my hair so freaking soft it's very thick it's a deep conditioning mask and it just like really hydrates and softens my hair you don't necessarily have to use a conditioner and a deep conditioner I would be careful and kind of like just be conscious of how your hair reacts to conditioners because you also don't want to use too like heavy of products especially close to your scalp that's going to make your hair greasy and weigh it down and then you're gonna have to wash it sooner and then your heat style isn't going to last as long so I would probably use one or the other not both but this is a great deep conditioner if you would want to go in with the X Mon shampoo and then the love your curls deep conditioner this would be a really good base to kind of start your heat styling routine so after that I do like to use a heat protectant I lately I've been using and kind of trying out this chi 44 iron guard I bought this because it just had really good reviews and I do like the scent it's a little bit more of a masculine scent during pregnancy it's been like sweeter fruitier scents that have been making me feel sick so I really like this I can't really attest to like how well this actually protects my hair from heat damage just because I feel like that's kind of hard to know unless you use a product for a long time and then you just don't have heat damage um and i've only been using this for like maybe i've had it for probably a year but i only have used it like three or four times because that's how rare i style my hair so i do use this because it makes me feel better i don't know how well it actually works something that i do really love that has hair all over it so just ignore that is um this avocado multi-purpose oil i just bought this off amazon i read a pinterest blog several years ago that said avocado oil first of all it has a really high smoke point so you want to be careful with different oils in your hair you want to make sure that the smoke point is higher than the heat setting on your heat tool and this one the smoke point is really high but i read on a pinterest blog that this can actually help protect your hair from heat damage so um i kind of use both of these or like one or the other whatever I'm feeling that day if my hair is feeling like very frizzy very unmanageable and like whatever heat tool I'm using isn't smoothing my hair down I will use this if you have like really coarse hair and it's hard for you to get that like really sleek smooth down look I would definitely recommend trying out avocado oil on your hair it is one of the things that has like really made the biggest difference in my heat styling routines my hair used to always be like super puffy and frizzy even after straightening it but if I put that oil on before before I like run the heat tool over my hair it is like game changing it's night and day but I would just keep that at your ends I use a very teeny like pea sized amount per section and I don't take it up to my roots because it'll weigh your hair down so fast so to get my hair to kind of maintain that style and have some hold I do like going in with a sea salt spray so the two that I really like 
are the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. And then, so this one's at the drugstore. This one's a little more expensive. This is the X Mondo um, Salty Sea Salt Spray. So, I like these two for different reasons, and I would recommend them for two different hair types. This one is obviously great because it is more affordable, and it works really well. And this one actually has a stronger hold than this one does. So, if your curls are falling out and you just want, like, a nice, solid sea salt spray, I would really recommend this. Um, it just gives your hair like some texture and grit and hold. I don't really understand it, but it just helps your curls to not fall out. I think just like with our naturally wavy routines, if our hair is over moisturized, it won't hold a curl. Same thing. This kind of like gives it some grit and texture and takes away some of the softness. So it doesn't so the curls don't fall out now if you try this and you feel like it's too much because you do need to use like a very gentle hand I use like one spray per section and that's enough you can go overboard with this very quickly so if this is like too intense for you I would recommend the X Mondo one so this is a little bit more of like a lighter hold one and there's a little bit more wiggle room if you're new to sea salt sprays I would recommend this just because it's a little bit harder to go overboard this has a really nice spread out mist it's a very fine mist and it's just a lighter weight product in general so you can kind of use a heavier hand with this and it's still not going to make your hair feel like really gross and also again with the scents I love the X Mondo products across the board everything I've tried from them their scent is really really good and I do like having a nice scent in my hair especially for once like the shampoo and conditioner scents start fading it's nice to kind of touch it up with this next if I'm feeling like the sea salt sprays weren't enough normally they are I'm not a big hairspray person but if I needed a hairspray I do really like the Tresemme all day humidity resistance and this is a firm control and it says it's like a number three on the hold scale so I I do like this I don't use hairspray a ton normally the sea salt spray is all I need but if you're big on hairspray um, I think this is like a really good one I don't really have any complaints about it and sometimes I'll kind of like flip my head upside down and hairspray my hair upside down just to add to the volume and yeah this works great after I've heat styled my hair especially when I straighten my hair like I did today or yesterday I like to go in with this oh my gosh I literally just heard how to pronounce this brand and I can't remember it now but it's the long lang is it launch I think it might be I don't know I can't remember but this is their luster spray laminate and this oh my gosh you guys if you have coarse hair and after you heat style your hair it just feels like kind of hard and it's just like not really soft anymore or if you go overboard with the heat protectant and like the protein makes it feel a little bit stiff this is really good to kind of counteract that and bring the softness back to your hair this also is supposed to protect your hair from like environmental things that will damage your hair so like the sunlight and um stuff like that so like the uv rays so this says that it shines softens protects it has jojoba seed oil and it's vitamin e infused and it's a uv protectant so i think it does all of those things i don't know about the protection i don't know how to measure that again but it definitely adds shine and softness and again the scent is amazing on this so um, I'll sometimes even just use this as a hair fragrance, but since it does have oil in it, you do want to use a very light hand with this. And I'll just kind of do like one to two sprays per side of my hair. And that's really all I need, but this adds so much softness to my hair and I love it. Oh, I forgot to mention this, but um, in order to style my hair in sections, I do have to section my hair. Like I said, I have a lot of hair. I do like to use a little clamp that doesn't put creases in my hair. I don't like to use like a regular hair tie because that does tend to like crease my hair and then it's just more work I have to do to get that crease back out. So I like to just kind of twist up the section I'm not working with and then just like clip this up. So claw clips are really good for that. So after I've worn my heat style for as long as I can, whether it's like um, one week or two weeks, <laughs> oh my gosh, she's like freaking kicking my bladder and it hurts. Freaking settle down in there. Oh my gosh, I wanna show you. I wonder if you guys can see this. She's being a literal psycho and I think I just peed my pants a little bit. She's moving like over here. You can't see it, of course, okay. Anyways, I don't really have a dry shampoo that I'm like die hard obsessed with. I use the Batiste because they're cheap and I like the scent and they do the job, but if I use them like 
two days in a row it'll kind of make my scalp a little bit itchy and then I have to wash it so um, yeah, I don't really have a dry shampoo I'm like I'm in love with but those are pretty good So once I'm ready to wash my hair after I've done my heat style and it's my next wash day I like to go in with a hydrating mask that also has protein in it to kind of Restore any damage that I did to my hair So I love the Brio Geo don't despair repair mask for that This is just a really good balance of protein and moisture So it never gives me a protein overload on my hair, but it's really hydrating and it just like repairs any damage again so yeah I really like to make sure that I go in with a good treatment mask after I have heat styled okay you guys that completes this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and it was helpful and maybe you got a few um, tips and tricks from this video if you enjoyed it definitely give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to follow my wavy hair Instagram and my main Instagram page and I'll see you guys in my next video bye